Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and happy fall! officially fall here in Northwest Indiana. We've had some absolutely stunning fall weather the last couple days and that has just put me in the mood to read some good fall books. So I thought um, I think it is the most perfect time to talk about some of my fall book recommendations. Fall to me just like Christmas has a feel about it. You know the crunching leaves, the changing colors, the breeze, the air feels crisp and cool and I'm just always put in the mood to just read a good cozy book and today I have a bunch of books that can totally fit that and a mix of books that are themed and are actually fall books and then some that just kind of give me that feeling of cozy and a book that I would love to curl up with in the fall next to the fireplace or outside while the leaves are changing and the breeze is blowing but I have a genre choices and just I've got you covered. If you need some fall books, I've got you covered. So let's just jump right into it. First, I'm going to talk about some books that I read last year. Now, I will preface this to say that these books are not going to be for everybody. I know that Amanda read one of them uh, a couple weeks ago, and she did not enjoy it. She actually DNF'd it. Um, and she DNF'd it for good reasons. It worked for her. I, partic I did enjoy the story, um, but this is what it comes down to reading is subjective. So just doing your research is going to be very, very important. Um, but these are the, they are rom-coms, they are not Christian fiction, they are clean fiction, they are, they both have some language in them, and one definitely toes the line a little bit more than the other, um, it gets kind of close, like it has a lot, it's heavy on the innuendo, um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's, it's not everybody's cup of tea. So it is A uh, Pumpkin Spice and Not So Nice by Becky Monson and A Pumpkin and a Patch by Jennifer Peel. These are set around the Halloween time um, in the family's pumpkin patch. So they are very fallish, very fall activity, and they are a lot of fun. I really did enjoy them. Um, and I read them around Thanksgiving, which I know is still technically fall, but Thanksgiving fall feels different than October, like November fall feels different than October fall. And if you're a fall person and you understand what I'm saying, please let me know what I'm, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Because I'm like trying to explain it and what I think and feel do not come out of my mouth properly. But October fall feels very different than November fall. So I would definitely recommend reading these more so closer to the time in which they were set. Probably you'd probably get more of a... Um, immersion in that that time. I think Thanksgiving might have been a little too fallish for these. <laughs> Next I'm going to talk about the Sweater Weather series which is a series that has been taking Instagram by storm since it is another multi-author um, series kind of like the Christmas Escape series was last year which y'all know how I feel about that. Absolutely adored. But seven of the most amazing authors got together in the clean rom-com genre and they decided to write a cross-author one-town series. So it is seven books and it is set in a town called Harvest Hollow and while it follows different characters you don't need there they can all be standalones because the characters don't necessarily interact a whole lot with each other they might be mentioned briefly or little things to connect to the town will be mentioned briefly but you will not miss anything major or crazy if you don't read them in order if that makes sense or if you choose not to pick up one or another and you're just wanting to read one totally fine it totally works so the first one is just don't fall by Emma St. Clair. This is a hockey romance and it was absolutely amazing. Next is The Fallback Plan by Melanie Jacobson. I haven't read this one yet but it is on my list. I'm going to get to it this fall. Next is Can't Help Falling by Courtney Walsh. This is a firefighter romance and it was so so good. Next is Faking the Fall by Julie Christensen and this was a celebrity fake dating best friends to more romance. This one gave me all the fall feels. Like, oh, I literally wanted, I was reading it at like 5 o'clock in the morning and I wanted to just drive to the orchard and get an apple donut, but 
alas they weren't open at five o'clock in the morning next is easiest pie by karina taylor i believe that this is a best friends to more story so i'm really excited i haven't read this one yet but i'm very excited to get to it soon and the last one that i've read and the last one that's out as of me filming this is a not so fictional fall by savannah scott and this is a marriage of convenience story and it is an author and she is a bookstagrammer so this one's a lot of fun he is french and then the last one is absolutely not in love this just comes out it does come out october 12th and this will be another hockey romance it will be about felix which you do meet in just don't fall um because logan right there is a hockey player for the appies which is harvest hollow's hockey team and Felix is on that team and so Jenny Proctor is writing that one and she is writing Felix's story and I'm so excited but these are the absolute sweetest I have loved every single second of it and I can't wait to read the fallback plan easy as pie and absolutely not in love in the coming weeks um, because I've loved every other book that I have read so highly 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 recommend the sweater weather series I, then I have two more that are definitely on my fall TBR. Um, I have My Night Before Christmas by Amanda P. Jones. This one I'll probably read around Thanksgiving potentially. It gives me Thanksgiving vibes. I don't know if that's true, but we're going to go with it. But this, okay, 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 this is what I'm saying. Okay, this gives me October fall vibes. This gives me Thanksgiving November fall vibes. Does that make sense? It does in my brain, but I'll be reading this one l later this fall. And the next one I have is The Makeup by Haley Gardner. This is book two in the Falling in Franklin series. And I think these can technically be standalones. I sure hope they can, um, because I do plan on reading this one separately from the series because I haven't read book one yet. Um, but each book is like set around a certain season. 90% sure because book one I think is either spring or summer book two is fall book three or two and a half it's a novella it's Christmas and then book four just came out and that one is either spring or summer I don't remember which is which but they're all like the covers look like they are those seasons so as you can tell this one just has leaves all over it and I'm really excited to read it this fall as well Next, I'm going to talk about some books that just kind of give me the cozy feel. And there's really nothing better than a good cozy book on a fall evening. Ugh, so good. So first, I have But He's My Grumpy Neighbor by Anna Conwell. This is book one in her new series. And it was so good. Book two, But He's My One Regret comes out October 24th or 26th and I do have an arc for that so I'm super excited to be reading that. That is Levi's story and Levi and Aiden are brothers and I think the series is yep but he's a Carter brother. That's the name of the series so it's gonna follow the four Carter brothers. Absolutely loved them. This book was so sweet. It could very well happen during fall um, because it talks about her like in sweaters and cozy clothes and they talk a lot about tea and there's some like cooler mornings so it definitely could happen around fall one thing about me though is I don't really pay attention to when the seasons are during books I just pay attention to the feelings that they give me while reading and this definitely gives me cozy comfort read while reading it this is a book that I just finished and that is Garden of the Midnights by Handa Linder this is historical romance and it is Christian fiction it's published by Barber um, and this one just felt like coming home like it reminded me why I love Christ Christian historical romance so much it is my one true love I always go back to historical romance and this just reminded me why it was so cozy and wholesome and just sweet and it the whole time I was reading it I really did feel like man this is just a really good fall evening read I don't think it necessarily happens during that time it spans like it spans time spans a good couple months um so fall happens at some point I'm sure but it was just a cozy cozy comfort read feel next is first to fall by Jenny B Jones this one might take place during fall just based off of the cover um there are some like fall leaves in the corner and they just both look like 
fall feels. I haven't read it yet, but it is on my list. Hopefully I can get to it soon. Um, but if it is set during fall, great. If not, it just gives me cozy vibes based off the cover. So I feel like this would be a good one to just curl up with, with a good cup of hot cocoa or hot apple cider if that is more your speed. And I think that one would be a fun one to read. Next in my cozy feels. Listen, if you didn't guess that this would be included in this recommendations list, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what videos you haven't watched, what Instagram post you haven't looked at, what conversation you haven't had with me yet, because Juniper Bean Resorts to Murder will 100% be a top recommendation for me, no matter the time of year. I will find a way to make it fit for Christmas, for fall, for summer, for spring. I don't care. It is going to fit whatever season and whatever time I want it to because it was a work of perfection. This book was so good. It is a cozy mystery rom-com and delightful, truly delightful. So funny, so fun, so quirky. I kind of want to reread it. I'm not going to lie. It was so good. Also, book two just did just come out, and that is Heidi Lucy Loses Her Mind. And that one did give some good fall cozy feels. This one, for some reason, feels more spring to me, um, like spring, summer cozy. This one, all the fall vibes. And I'm not even just saying because of the covers, but really something about the stories did just give off very different, like, seasonal vibes. But Heidi Lucy Loses Her Mind was another very good one and it definitely works well for the cozy cozy reading vibes if that's what you're going for but add this to your tbr it was amazing next i'm going to talk about a genre that just seems kind of cozy to me like fall and that is well it kind of goes with juniper being resource to murder just cozy murder mysteries in general i think there's something about them about the suspense genre in general too i feel like it just gives off fall winter vibes so any of those but i do have a series in particular that i'm going to recommend because i have loved the books that i've read from it and i haven't read a whole lot of cozy mysteries because again i have to be in a very particular mood to read them and if I am in that mood, I'm going to pick up this series. I do want to finish it at some point, hopefully soon. Um, I've read a couple books from it and I've absolutely loved the whole experience. And that is a Drew Fartherine series by Juliana Deering. This series was published by Bethany House and it is an absolute blast. What a little fun thing. It is set during the 20s, I believe. Um, but we have Rules of Murder, which is book one. Death by the Book. Death at Thornburn Hall, Murder on the Moor, Dressed for Death, and Murder at the Mikado. And these are just cozy mysteries. It follows the same group of main characters, I believe. Drew Fartherine obviously is the main character throughout all of them. And then his American girlfriend slash fiance. And then I think one of his best friends. So it's set in England. It's a lot of fun. I've loved it and I really do want to make sure that I try my hardest and get a couple more books done this year if not the rest of the series because I really have loved every single moment of the books that I have read. So if you're looking for a good cozy mystery that isn't like mass market or you want a Christian fiction one, I don't remember if there's anything overtly Christian in them. Um, or if they're just clean. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've read the books that I have read. But I do remember them being clean, wholesome, just good. And again, the feels. Love them. I would love to see that series in a TV show. I think that that would be an absolute blast. So definitely on my fall recommendations list. There are so many books that I can add to this. Historical romance books, again, they will always be my love. And I always love to read them during the fall. Um, I'm sure there's other books that I can add to it. Suspense books, books that the covers kind of feel fallish because of the coloring. Um, but the last group of books that I'm going to talk about is all by one author. It's more so an author recommendation. If you need something for the spooky season, 
I personally don't celebrate it, but I do definitely think that this author works well for this season. I read her books all throughout the year, um, but she does give off that spooky, cozy vibe just based on the genre that she writes in. And if you haven't guessed yet, I'll give you a second to guess while I get the books. I'm talking about the Goldilocks of spooky Jamie Jo Wright. She is absolutely amazing. Um, her books, again, a lot of people read during spooky season or all throughout the year. I think she's amazing all the time. But she writes split time, murder, mystery-esque. I don't know what they really consider hers. Romantic suspense, I guess, is how they um, categorize it. But it is split time and just a lot of Fun is probably not the right term to use, but her books are always a whirlwind. Mm -hmm. They take you on a roller coaster, that's for sure. Um, but she's got some some good ones. You can't go wrong with any of them. So there are some good ones. Uh, Haunting at Bonaventure Circus, The Premonition at Withers Farm. Those definitely give off more fall vibes, but they are she's just a great author in general if you haven't read Jamie Jo Wright and you are looking for someone who like you like the murder mystery like suspense aspect I definitely definitely suggest her books um I loved pretty much every book that I've read by her so highly suggest she definitely is a fall author for me and those are some of my recommendations for fall I'm sure I could come up with more if I really like looked but I am definitely a mood reader and my mood is greatly affected by the weather outside and if it's fall outside I want to read a fall book so I'm excited that I have so many in my possession but let me know in the comments below if you have any that you didn't see on this list or you think that are for sure like I have to read these in fall time I would love to hear them drop them in the comments below don't forget you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction and all my other links are in the description box below. I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!